Hi guys, I just thought I'd do a quick video for you, um, for those of you that are looking for um, Star Wars The Old Republic and to find out the sort of classes that are available, I thought I'd do a quick video, well a set of videos um, that will show you the classes. Um, I'll go through the Sith ones first and then we'll go through the Jedi ones in another video. When you log in you will see that obviously you can choose Jedi or Sith, um, let's choose Sith. And I won't customise them all, I'll literally just run through the, um, the classes so you can see. Basically, when you log in, the first, the first class that will be selected is Sith Inquisitor. And basically, this is the equivalent of a sort of mage character. The actual game is, when you get to level 10, you can split your class, meaning you can pick different trees you see here and um, you can go for this class the Inquisitor which the main pros of this class to be honest is the lightning if you see yourself as a Palpatine sort of character and you want to be a master of the dark side and the force and like picking stuff up and chucking it at your enemies this is the, um, the class to go for you can see here Sorcerer basically draws energy from the Depths. This is more, if you go Sorcerer, it will be more like Force Attacks, and um, all of them are Force Attacks. The best um, thing about this actual class, though, is you do get a lot of Lightsaber Attacks, as well as Force Attacks, so you can sort of mix and match it. So you can go for the Sorcerer if you want to go purely like um, uh, Force based, like sort of Magic based, and then the Assassin is more stealthy, more like a sort of um, more like a sort of rogue, you get to use double bladed lightsabers for that as well. Okay, so that's basically the um, Sith Inquisitor and you can see here where a Sith warrior is rage, an Inquisitor is cunning, a master of force lightning and arcane secrets, the Inquisitor can hold one enemy in the air and stun another all the while attacking with lightsaber. So that's the Inquisitor. You've got like a Darth Maul sort of character you could make would be a Sith warrior. Um, it's fairly straightforward, lightsaber attacks and lots of damage. Advanced classes are Sith Marauder, basically dual wielding. If you want to dual wield lightsabers and so on, you can see here um, you'll focus more on damage. You can see here class roll is damage, you get to hold two lightsabers, and if you're going more so a Sith juggernaut will be more you can take ever such a lot of damage okay out of the classes that I've played this um, I haven't actually got a Sith warrior to level 10 just yet but this uh, Sith, Sith warrior is like a very good class it's like easiest if you're just looking to get in and really fast leveling go for this class okay so moving on done it sort of back to front but you can see Bounty Hunter. Um, bounty Hunter, I haven't actually played as Bounty Hunter, but quite simply, if you want um, blasters and explosives and energy shields and jetpacks, and to, they're actually, I think, a lot of people will go for like Jedi or Sith, like Jedi Knight and so on. So this class won't get played initially, especially during the beta as this is, but it's a, um, it's a very fun class out of what I've seen. You've got power tech, the boss at shielding, defensive tactics, so that's more if you're going defense wise and you see here mercenary for this one, which is more for healing and damage. It's more tanking and damage. So yeah, underrated class probably, but um, definitely worth checking out. Similar sort of is Imperial Agent. I see this as sort of like a, um, a rogue character, Imperial Agent. If we look at the classes, operative, you've got healing and damage, and you've also got these uh, operative is like healing and damage and sneaking attacks and so on. And you've also got sniper, which is um, just purely damage. Again, these two, the bounty hunter and the imperial agent, probably a bit underrated. Not many people will play them from the offset, but once you've once you've got the game and you actually go through, they're probably going to be a really used class, well worth checking out. 
Okay guys, I'll leave the video for the SIF classes here. Hope that's given you a very quick overview. You've obviously got more stuff here, um, like the equipment that you get, the abilities that you get and so on. But I don't want to make the videos too long. I'll probably do a separate video on them. Okay guys, and I will do the Jedi ones.